is up guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. In this video today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the fastest and best ways that you can make money in GTA 5 online uh, completely legit with the Ogre Games Part 2 update just around the corner I know a lot of you guys need money for that update so I thought I'd go ahead and complete all of the best methods within GTA 5 online into one video for you guys today uh, as well towards the end I'm going to be talking a little bit about the routine as well because uh, with making money in GTA 5 it's mainly based around routine though you know the way you do things when you do things uh, what do you do when there's a cooldown on certain things and stuff like that so I'm gonna be talking a little bit about routine at the end kind of the best ways that you can maximize your efficiency of using these methods as well now before we do initially begin I do want to say to you guys as well that I am actually doing a eight million dollar shark card giveaway right now you can click the link down in the description down below that'll tell you guys how you can enter and potentially win eight million GTA 5 dollars but anyway guys with that being said as always hope you do go on to enjoy this video today or do find it helpful and let's jump straight into this so kickstart the compilation of today we have two of the main methods that a lot of people use nowadays and you may have found yourself uh, being invited to a lot of these through the phones because once again these are some of the most used methods but not only do they pay out in great sums of money they are also great fun to play as well and the methods i'm talking about is rpgs versus insurgents as well as snipers versus stunters both great ways to make money and have fun at the exact same time rpgs versus insurgents typically makes me a little bit more money uh, in my experience as snipers versus stunters usually making me around the seventy thousand dollar mark uh, pretty quickly as well you know playing this game mode especially because you're having fun as well because when you're having fun in gta 5 time flies it's the same thing for anything in life you know if you're having fun time tends to fly a lot and uh, with this game mode you'll find yourself just completing it in no time and making that seventy thousand dollars usually uh, you make around that mark sometimes you can make a little bit more you know all the way up until the hundred thousand dollar mark I've seen some people make uh, with this game mode depending on the rounds played and stuff like that uh, sometimes you can add a little bit less around the forty thousand to fifty thousand mark but typically for me I make around the seventy thousand dollar mark in this game mode and the same thing with snipers versus stunters as well uh, typically making me a little bit less I usually make around the forty five to fifty thousand dollar mark uh, in snipers versus stunters but I've seen some people make seventy thousand dollars plus uh, just having fun playing these game modes and they are pretty much how they sound it's usually a uh, two-teamed game mode one that team is the snipers they are on uh, you know elevated container platforms and you have these stunters whose job is to pretty much go up the ramps and knock you off the platform and that's typically how these game modes do kind of work now uh, at the end it's kind of down to whoever has the most players on the team wins and at the team that does win of course they'll get the most money for that round and the next round would switch and then you'll end up switching positions and you'll be the snipers and the other team will be the stunters but either way these are some of the most paying good jobs as well as activities in the game right now some of the most used ones and definitely some of the most fun ones at the same time now in addition to this another great way of making money is Fleeker bank heist farming and the reason why uh, this specific heist mission is better to farm for money uh, over the other ones is the fact that it's fast it's easy and it's very very hard to fail even on the hardest difficulty so you can't really beat this one especially for money to time efficiency this is one of the best ones that you can do making you around $75,000 in around 20 to 30 minutes and you know if you are good at this and you do have a, a friend who's pretty decent at doing it as well you can easily knock this off in 20 to 25 minutes once again making you $75,000 for a very low effort heist mission that is very hard to fail indeed so it's pretty damn awesome and kind of the way you would farm this i guess you could say is that you would be the highest leader for the first time and once you have completed it at this point you would be on a 45 minute cooldown uh, before you can do it again but during that time period you just simply have your friend go ahead and host it up and then he can be the highest leader for this time once again making you $75,000 for the second run and then after that you'll probably have around 15 to 20 minutes spare before your cooldown expires and now that is where i would utilize free mode and you know different ways to make money in free mode while also having fun at the same time so this is kind of where routine comes into play because there's several things in free mode that you can do to make money uh, from selling vehicles and it's quite important that you know what vehicles are the best to sell uh, in my opinion i end up going for the sentinel xs uh, which is pretty much quite customized uh, when you uh, you know end up finding it which means it sells for a bit more money and um, the sentinel xs i believe on the ps4 xbox one and pc uh, typically spawns around this area around the uh, 10 p.m mark to the 4am mark so in game on the phone that would be like 2200 
all the way up until the 4 a.m. mark is where you can typically get this vehicle to spawn. And once it spawns into the game, uh, as you can see here, you can go ahead and take it right round to your garage. Uh, you can exit your garage again, go back to the location again, try and find another one. And uh, the one that you're trying to look for is the blue one because that is more customizable, sell for more. And uh, you can also find a yellow one as well, which is slightly less customized, but will sell once again uh, for slightly less. But once again, this Sentinel XS, when you take it down to the Los Santos Customs, uh, will sell for $17,000, which isn't too bad for selling a vehicle. And it's, in my opinion, one of the best vehicles to sell, considering it has a fixed spawn location and you can pretty much get it to spawn near enough 100% of the time. Now, you know, aside from this, once again, you have routines. So what I would probably start off doing was, you know, would be to sell a vehicle. Uh, if I was messing around in free mode and stuff at first, I would sell a vehicle. Uh, usually from there, I'd go ahead and complete the daily objectives. As you will know, daily objectives do pay you quite a bit of money. Uh, for completing small little tasks in GTA 5. Uh, when you complete the three a day, you get 25,000 for that day just for completing them. Then at the end of the week, they tally up. If you do it every single day, you'll get an additional $100,000. And then if you do it every single day for a month, you end up with a bonus $500,000 at the end of the month for doing them every single day as well. So they are definitely worth doing. And that is kind of what I would also fit into the routine as well of doing this. But you know, aside from that, once I'm messing around in free mode, I've sold the vehicle once, you know, I'm on a 45 minute cooldown, I've had fun in free mode, you know, I've done my daily objectives, I've gone around, killed a few bounties, just had fun. What I would then typically go ahead and do is the heist mission. I'll go ahead and, you know, get a friend in, uh, complete the Fleek Bank heist mission, get my 75k, alternate host to him, let him host it up, get my 75k again. Of course, that right there off the back is an easy 150k. And then while you're waiting the extra 15 to 20 minutes to do that again, I'd go ahead and start up a few matches of RPGs versus Insert. You know, or you know, snipers versus stunters. Try and make as much money as I can through them while having fun at the same time. Once again, you can make anywhere between uh, usually around 40 to 100k in both of those game modes, and uh, you'll make some decent cash from that as well. And then once I've done that again, it's kind of down to personal preference. I mean, you can go ahead and go back into free mode and have some fun with friends if you feel like doing it. Or if you feel like just farming money out again, go back into the highest missions again, do them again, you know, alternate back to, you know, snipers versus stunters. And it's kind of based on your routine. I'm just giving you guys my kind of typical routine of how I would do things using these best practices as a way to try to maximize the amount of money I gain from this. So I want to know your guys' routine for making money. I know pretty much most of you guys out there probably have a routine of how you make money legit in GTA 5, wherever it's doing it similar to the way I do it. Let me know down in the comment section down below. I just wanted to give you guys my routine today, talk a little bit about the best practices that you can do, and I kind of give you guys a bit of an insight to of how to make money fast and easy in GTA 5 the legit way so with that being said guys that pretty much wraps it up for this video today if you guys did enjoy did find this helpful guys be sure to leave a like on the video it's going out quite late today as well I want to see how many of you guys are active on the channel around this time so if you are on the channel right now watching this be sure to leave a like guys let me know that you are active as well do remember there is an 8 million dollar shark card giveaway going on right now down in the description down below simply click that link check it out and you may win 8 million GTA 5 dollars. So with that being said, subscribe if you are new around and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with two brand new videos.